I'm Tony Bolson. I'm one of the owners of Smoke and Sip. And I'm Lionel Walding, the other owner of Smoke and Sip. Now, we want to give you a little bit of history about ourselves, how we got started, right? About two years ago, we met at a Brand X. We both was out looking for a place to start our own cigar bar. I was looking in Florida, he was looking in St. Louis, and we just happened to meet up at the same place one night, and we sat down and started to talk and share some stories and cigars and started thinking about, we want to do our own spot. Well, a year went by before we uh, saw each other again, no communication, and then just so lucky, we happened to meet at the same spot again. And then we sat down and decided, hey man, it's time that we're gonna do this or what we're gonna do, create this spot. So we got together again, this time we got serious about it and we developed Smoke and Sip. It was a journey, it took us two years to find the right building that we needed to be in because it was that important to us to be able to service the people with an environment that was captivating and make them feel very like at home. So that's when we set this place up. Uh, you've seen some of the pictures around from throughout the day, you see some of the people behind me. All I can say is, it's one of a kind in Missouri, and most importantly, it's the first black-owned cigar bar in Missouri. First black-owned. That's saying something. Now, a lot of people tried before us, but they failed, and I, I give them, I, I applaud them for their efforts. But me and my partner, we took it to that next level. For the last two years, I uh, had two functions going on here in St. Louis. One is called Cigars and Sundresses, and the other one is called Smoking Hot Day Party. Each of those parties have brought over 1,500, close to 2,000 people every year to attend. That brought something into me to uh, change the cigar culture here in St. Louis for African Americans. Uh, I've been here living here all my life, living here for the last 52 years, never have we ever had an African American cigar lounge. So on that journey of giving those parties, I decided that this was something that was needed here something much needed here in St. Louis, Missouri. So that's how we started the journey. We started out with the first uh, Cigars and Sundresses. Cigars and Sundresses, as I said, brings about 2,000 people out every year. Uh, it's a huge venue. We first started it out at Montrose Cigar Lounge. Montrose Cigar Lounge, which is located in Ferguson, Missouri, was uh, on a road of, uh, I would say, not wanting to do those parties again because they said that we were bringing too much of our people there. So uh, when you use the term our people, I'm sure you know what we mean. Our people, if you're telling us you are bringing too much of our people there, then maybe our people need to go somewhere and spend our money. Very true. I support that 100%. As I was saying, uh, when we develop this business, it's a business for not just our people, it's for everybody. It's an open business. It's a great business to come relax, enjoy a good drink, a good stick, good music, live entertainment, good social inter entertainment, social interactions. You can't go wrong with coming here. Um, I think everybody that's come here so far on social media has been pleased with what we have done. The environment is really, we, we got 11 TVs in the place, 11. Three's going outside, nine inside for 12. You can't go wrong what we're offering you. The history behind what me and Lionel has done is trying to, we're trying to weave ourselves in this community, right? To be a part of the community, a good part of the community here in Florissant, and then we want to grow from there. We don't want to stop there or stop here. We want to go to that next level. Keep developing more businesses for other individuals to get involved with, not only here, but across the country. That's our plan, that's our business plan. Well. After the first year in business, what we're gonna do, our goal is in the first year in business is to turn around uh, our second year and try to see if we can create another smoking sip. Uh, we wanna have at least, at least four or five smoking sips in the next 10 years. That is our goal. That is a goal we think, think strongly on and that is one that we're definitely, definitely gonna continue to build. Uh, we were told for the last two to three years that this could never happen in Florissant, in Florissant, Missouri. Florida, Missouri has never had, never had a cigar bar in it in the entire time it has ever been here. So what we did when we started this journey, we knew it was gonna be a tough one. We knew it was gonna be a tough fight, but we fought it all the way through. We fought it all the way through until we got them to change and put 
in a cigar act for us, a clean air act just for Florence, Missouri, Old Town Florence. The things that set us apart is the ambiance of the place, the, the, the leather that we have all around and uh, the environment, right? The social environment that you're able to come and take in is much more relaxing than any place else. We play nothing but jazz. Either we play live jazz, smooth jazz, seven days a week, and it's just the atmosphere. Because when you come here, it's like being at home. We got a world famous patio that you can sit on. We got an outside bar. That's one thing that you won't find at any other cigar bar around. We got an inside bar and an outside bar. We got waitresses and bartenders on both bars all time. So you will never wait for a drink here, never. That's the biggest thing you will learn about smoking sip versus anywhere else. You will not wait over two minutes for a drink. If you do, the drink is on me. The ambiance for Smoke and Sip is not a black thing or a white thing. Here at Smoke and Sip, we want everyone to feel comfortable here. We have a setting here at, at uh, Smoke and Sip that is a relaxing setting for any race, any color. We treat everyone here the same.